20 year cold case is very close to closure now and tonight Delhi Township police say a lucky break made it all happen. Officials pulled an SUV out of the Ohio River in Aurora. That vehicle belongs to Stephanie Wynn, who vanished in 2002 along with her three and her four year old children. Reporter Larry Seward is live in Aurora, Indiana with more on the next step. Yeah, that's right. And Larry, have authorities found uh, Wynn's remains yet? Craig, that is not clear. That SUV that authorities pulled out the river right there behind me is so heavily damaged and full of so much mud and silt, Indiana police need to run forensics to confirm what investigators believe. In those muddy, mangled metal remains of Stephanie Wynn's green Nissan Pathfinder, missing for 19 years, along with the mom of two and her three and four year old children, possibly lies closure, family, Delhi police, a retired detective, and one determined patrol officer need. I received another call from another retired officer who wasn't even a detective. Uh, who said that this case had always bothered him. Along with jewelry and cash left to pay for three funerals, police say they found a goodbye letter at the home of Stephanie's parents in 2002, a possible suicide note that said when drove her children into the Ohio River near Rising Sun, Indiana, to end her marriage and take her children from their father. For years, proof never surfaced, but retired Sergeant Bob Schwebel never gave up hope. It was a very emotional case because it would involve small children. I thought the only way that she might be found or the vehicle was found is if they dredged the Ohio River. I'm just glad that it's finally closed, that we found the vehicle. Though Delhi Township police searched in waves using new technology, this river's near black water mixed with currents and flooding made finding the SUV a needle in a messy haystack. We just got lucky. But before the 20th anniversary of the wind's disappearance, Officer Heather Taylor insisted on a new search near Lesko Park, almost nine miles from Rising Sun, a football field offshore where Indiana DNR and Hamilton County Police Association side sonar, which gives a horizontal view of riverbeds, found something 55 feet below the surface, two cars and one SUV. Divers confirmed its license plate matches that of Stephanie Wynn's Pathfinder. All that's left is finding and identifying human remains. Indiana State Police cannot predict when they'll know, but Del High's investigators have few doubts and hope their find sends a message. People still care. I mean, I feel like I can speak for most law enforcement, if not all law enforcement out there. We care. We want to find people. We want to bring closure to family. Tonight, investigators see no evidence of any foul play beyond what is suggested in that goodbye letter. Again, Indiana State Police are running forensics to confirm if there are human remains inside. In the word of one former detective, he says he is relieved. Live in Aurora, Indiana, Larry Seaver, WCPO 9 News.